हे गाइस वेलकम टू येट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन डेटा माइनिंग सो सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरियस ऑफ द स्टेप्स ऑफ के डी डी दैट इज वी हैड द डेटा क्लीनिंग डेटा इंटीग्रेशन एंड डेटा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो इन टू डेज वीडियो विल बी सींग वॉट आर द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डेटा रिडक्शन टेक्निक्स सो ऑल टू यू कैन समराइज इट बट देन टू हैव अ डिटेल्ड अंडरस्टैंड एंड ओवर व्यू लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द फाइव डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स ऑफ द डेटा रिडक्शन स्ट्रैटेजीज इन डेटा माइनिंग सो टूडे विल सी वॉट इज द वेरी फर्स्ट दैट इज द डेटा रिडक्शन टेक्निक दैट इज यू हैव द डेटा क्यूब एग्रीगेशन मीन्स यू हैव टू एग्रीगेट द डेटा सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सम काइंड ऑफ एग्रीगेशन ऑपरेशन और समराइजेशन ऑपरेशन are applied to the data in the construction of a data cube like you have the original data cube then to uh, that data cube may have different different sizes or with different dimensions so what do you do you apply some kind of aggregation or summarization operations to it so that it reduces to a particular uh, size or like it can be uh, fed it to the input system next you have the data cube stores the multi dimensional aggregate information so like uh, you have some kind of informations so what it does is it aggregates all the information from all the columns from all the cells and then it puts or inputs to each of this individual columns which it has uh, then each cell holds an aggregate data value so each of this cell means uh, like uh, this cell so in this this is a case for an all electronics data warehouse so like you have the home entertainment you have the computer then you have the phone then you have security so all these individual cells contains the aggregate data for that particular abstraction level and so uh, the values corresponding to that uh, data point comprises of a multi dimensional space like you have this as one dimension so if you consider this particular face so that com comprises to the 1d that is one dimensional or if you have the other side so that is 2d and you have at the top that is 3d at the base you have 4d 5d 6d like that so uh, then you have the concept hierarchies uh, that may exist for each different attribute like you have in this for example for sales or for customer that is different kinds of attribute for this particular warehouse and so concept hierarchies may exist for each attribute allowing analysis of data from multiple levels of abstraction now like uh, you have to uh, analyze the data with uh, respect to the sales uh, team or with respect to the customer uh, overview so like that you can just move the cube in that way or uh, you can orient in that uh, manner and then you can have a different view from different angles of uh, the cube then data cube provides faster access to pre computed summarized data thereby benefiting your online analytical processing that is alive as well as the data mining so for all these purposes data cubes are very much required so uh, before you input your original data cube first you have to just aggregate it or summarize it so that it can be uh, producing the well data mining system or it can uh, give a well uh, outputted cube and the data cube created at the lowest level of abstraction is referred to as the base cube lowest level of abstraction means like it will contain a one particular single entity like uh, in case of all electronics you have the sales or customer so that sales or customer represents to one single entity so at the lowest level you have the base cuboid so if you have the abstraction at the lowest level then that's a base cuboid and it should correspond to an individual entity single entity of interest example sales or the customer and if a cube is having the highest level of abstraction then it's called as the apex cuboid example you have the total sales for all the years like quarterly and for all the years which you have like in this you have the quarter sales but then tomorrow if you want like if your boss has told that i want the annual uh salary or annual income of all the uh, sales data so for that you need to prepare an alive cube so alive cube what it does it just aggregates all the quarter sales data from all different years 2002 3 4 and uh, likewise years and then it creates one particular alive cube which has all the aggregated information in that and so the data cube is created for varying levels of abstraction are often referred to as cuboids and so you may have a kind of uh, lattice of cuboids so like you have uh, different kinds of layouts one particular different abstraction level then you have different abstraction level so from different abstraction level at different angles you may view the uh, cube in different different manner so like you have one particular cube you have many different cubes so that's like an array not an array but in terms of cuboids you term it as lattice of cuboids and then each higher level of abstraction reduces the resulting data size like for example uh, in my previous example uh i discuss like you have the street and the city so that you replace with a higher level concept or a higher level abstraction like the uh, 
uh, state or you have the city or continent so that actually reduces the size or the dimension of the data cube so that's very much uh, like useful in case of accuracy and efficiency and also for performance analysis kind of things and also while uh, whenever there is any kind of uh, response or replying to data mining request which is coming from the other end systems what you have to do is uh, you may have different different number of cubes you have a lattice of cuboid so in that you have the smallest cuboid biggest cuboid greater cuboid and many kind of things so what you do uh, whenever you have to reply in kind of a data mining request the smallest available cuboid with particular that uh, level of interest or with that particular abstraction level you have to use that cuboid in order to reply to that relevant data set or data mining set so that uh, the given task should be used uh, with minimum efficiency and with uh, like maximum uh, or with minimum response time and with uh, minimum error rates and all so uh, this is a basic example which is given so originally you had this kind of excel sheets or tables from different tuples uh, from the year 2002 to 2004 so this is a case of uh, all electronics uh, data warehouse so in that you had the quarter and the sales which is uh, given in dollars and this is the quarter time period q and q2 and all so this is for different years and then what you do you just uh, uh, apply the aggregation operations on this particular tuple and then you get this kind of particular tub, uh, one single entity or the consolidated database table then what do you do from this table you create different abstraction levels like you have the branch at one different phase we have the branch then you have the item type different items in that particular all electronics and then you have the years which is at the base so like this represents a single entity so this is at the lowest level then at the other dimension you may have the uh, apex or the like the highest level of abstraction that may be the total sales in case of annual uh, like sales or any other kind of aggregated data so well that's uh, all regarding the data cube aggregation uh, in data reduction techniques so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video